In this video, we're going to be sketching r equals 3 plus 2 cosine theta. And in a similar way, we're going to start off by thinking about cosine theta going between minus 1 and 1. So when cosine theta is minus 1, we're going to get 3 take away 2, which is 1. And when cosine theta is 1, we're going to get 3 plus 2, which is 5. So r is going between 1 and 5. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, this could be r and theta on the horizontal axis. And let's draw in some dotted lines. So, we know we've bounded between those two. So, it looks something like this. So, that's 2 pi. That's a pi. Uh, the mid value is at 3. So that's pi over 2. That's 3 pi over 2. OK? All right. So let's sketch the polar curve. So when theta is 0, r is 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're at that point there. And when we get theta is pi over 2, we're going to be at 3. So 1, 2, 3. And so the curve's coming around like so. Then uh, when we get to theta is pi, we're going to be at r is 1. So when we're at theta is pi and r is 1, uh, we're going to be here. OK, now, in order to get to that point, you might be thinking, OK, well, that means that the curve's got to come around and... Sorry, let me just uh, try that again. Let's pop the 3 there to help. So does that mean that? for example. Is that where we're getting to? OK, well, not quite. Um, now, it's not immediately obvious as to why um, the curve would look the way that it does. Um, you can kind of think of it as, well, as theta is increasing from pi over 2 to pi, um, it is uh, quite quickly decreasing, then it's slowing down as it gets to pi. Um, now, maybe that doesn't immediately identify as to what this curve should look like as it's doing that, but the consequence is um, that that kind of hasty, that kind of speedy decrease uh, causes the curve to bulge outwards and then come back in on itself. So let's make this very, very clear. So it's going to come out and then come back on itself. And it creates this dimple in the curve. Now, in the extension videos uh, from earlier, we looked at this curve and we saw that there were four points where the tangent was perpendicular to the initial line. And that included this point here this point, this point, OK, so that's at minus 1, and then it's going to come out again, symmetric, because it's symmetric, come around. So this point here, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is at minus 3. And then it comes back round. I need to accentuate a little bit more, I think. OK, it's not the easiest one to draw. OK, so this is the curve that we get. So as theta increases from 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi, we come back round to r is 5. And so you get this type of curve where you have this dimple um, at the point when theta is pi, rather than the cusp that we saw in the previous video when A and B were equal. So what I would definitely recommend is that 
try increasing A and seeing how that changes the shape of the curve. Now, the consequence is that as A increases, the B cosine theta becomes more and more negligible. Okay, um, And the consequence is that this starts to look more and more round and circular. It's still not quite, um, but that's what happens as A increases. So I definitely recommend you have a look at Desmos or on your graphing calculator, uh, see what happens, start trying to put in larger and larger values for A and see how the curve changes and develops.